Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? Today I'm going to show you you can register on the Neptune app. All right, without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, now you can see my screen. I'm going to show you how you guys can register on the Neptune app. So first, you have to log in on Neptune and you have to click on the student portal. Once you're over there, you have to go on. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention something. Thank you, um, Maho and Anto um, and Antonio. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know if I'm saying your name correctly for helping me with doing this. So yeah, you go on register, um, register for subject, right? And then what you have to do is there's a filter over here where you have to essentially um, choose between you know all the subjects, right? So um, you so you just click on subjects and curriculum as you just want once from your curriculum, right? And yeah, there's there's a lot, right? But yeah, I highly recommend you filter it and put the page as 500 so you can see pretty much everything that is related to your um, psychology degree or like your BA degree. Um, so yeah, um, there is, um, yeah, so if you're uh, starting out, I highly recommend you, you do the compulsory courses. That's not our term one right here. So how you can register is it's very, very simple, right? So um, if you register right the year, right, you have to click on this one. Once you click on one, you can actually see all the different people here. But if you want to really know how you can register, um, you have to essentially just 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 like click on this tick um, tick box and then just click on save. And obviously, I've already registered, so it's gonna obviously say that I registered, right? So um, if so, all these things in red, right, is the wait is such a waiting list. And now, don't worry if you are late or anything. Um, every student gets this who just starts out, right? So once the full lecture start um these won't be read anymore and yeah so if you want to check which courses you've taken you can just go on taken courses and you can check out everyone all of them but yeah if you want to go register subjects i think that's a little better you can list it and you can list it 2023 24 one i mean depend depending on what year you are i'm recording i think 2023 and uh, yeah so you can see every single thing and you need like 30 credits in order for you to pass so yeah uh, make sure you pick courses that can get you that around that 30 credits all right so if you want to check your class schedule so you just know where is all of your lectures you have to go on studies you have to go on class schedule and um i believe um at september 11th it starts so you have to go on september 11th and then you can see pretty much all of your classes um some are in the morning some are in the um maybe a little bit towards the night but yeah that's essentially it guys that is it peace out bye bye